Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the buy list on Card Kingdom. Some problems are occurring, which is quite interesting and something that is relevant uh, to people trying to get out of Magic cards. Now, yes, you can sell on eBay. Yes, you can sell on TCG Player. But as a new eBay seller or as a new TCG Player seller with no feedback and maybe higher prices than you would normally have, I mean, it's kind of interesting, right? The people with the most feedback are selling it for the cheapest because they have volume. You as an individual seller, I mean, you're getting after fees and so on. You are at this point in time getting something kind of close to buy list, maybe buy list plus 10%, but is that 10% really worth your work or your that effort? Now, Card Kingdom's buy list is the only one standing. Uh, Troll and Toad has basically said no more magic. No more. We don't want no more of this crap. And they stated their reasoning, which is very similar for everyone else's reasoning. The Card Kingdom buy list is actually suffering from another problem I didn't realize until just now. And it's uh, slower processing times because uh, apparently the Card Kingdom employees, uh, yes, this is kind of out there video, started a union. In that union, a lot of people were let go, um, and they were paid severance and so on. They kind of, you know how they do it. They, they oh, everyone won, even though they lost their jobs, and their severance will run out soon, and they're not really super qualified. These are not, um, these are game store employees. So, I mean, in terms of qualification and demand, it, you know. But with less employees and the fact that they're moving, right? I didn't, again, I didn't know any of this until like recently. Um, that means the buy list is taking a lot of time. Now, the other core problem of Card Kingdom and its buy list has always been the condition on cards. So the condition on cards are obviously very vital, especially the older the card. Um, whether or not you get a near mint price, a light play price, or a even heavy play price is dependent on the condition. So a lot of people who don't buy list, they think that the buy list is actually, uh, you know, hey, at average condition. It's no, it's for near mint. And when Card Kingdom means near mint, it means near mint. It doesn't mean kind of close. It means like really crispy, right? And when you talk about um, for my buy list, um, when I was doing it, I was paying higher than Card Kingdom, which sucked. Uh, I'm never going to do that again. And I was giving the benefit of the doubt on every condition. So people who have done business with me know that I sometimes will look at conditioning. and But there's rarely, I mean, if there is an issue, it's probably less than 2% of the whole order, right? And it's an issue that I carefully explain. I can show the card on video. The first thing I do is I open the package in 4K and then I open it and then I upload it to YouTube. Um, and then we can discuss condition. I've never really had any issue with conditioning for the most part. Um, for a bigger deal, I just kind of accept that there are going to be cards that are not, in my personal opinion, described. Um, again, you, the seller, will always want the best conditioning. Me, the buyer, will always look at it slightly differently, right? Now, one thing that I don't want you guys to know is Card Kingdom is tough on conditions. Um, I've heard this many, many times uh, from people I bought collections from who sold part to Card Kingdom and part to me that that's where the they get sliced on, right? They're getting sliced 10, 20, 30%. And it's a relevant amount because the cards that have conditioning issues, guess what, are often the most expensive cards because they are often the most old cards and probably... The cards that will be most, I mean, if you have like a standard or modern card, Card Kingdom is not really going to care about conditioning that much because, again, it's a playable card that uh, probably isn't even worth that much money. So to nickel and dime you on that doesn't make sense. But they will nickel and dime you on a beta. Uh, so there was a play set of beta lightning bolts, and I paid near mint for it. I later learned uh, from the seller that he had sent the same play set to card kingdom and card kingdom only wanted to give them uh what was it some i think hp like hp plus or like some type of median between hp and lp and then he, he didn't accept that so they sent the cards back um 
so he actually made a note to them, hey, if this doesn't get near mint, um, and, he's, and it was very crispy in my opinion and so on. So many times when you are sending um, graded cards or you're sending cards that are very old and very expensive, it is better to talk about conditions before you accept an offer, before you do any of this stuff, right? And that's what I normally offer. I can sit there and look at the condition of the card, and if I, you don't like it, we can talk about it. There's some negotiation back and forth. It's not like me sending you a bunch of cards and what I believe the condition is, and then getting a response a few days later about what the store believes the condition is and then you know and then that that back and forth is uh, obviously online and it's not like we both see sit down it, it's one thing we both sit down and we see the condition of the card and if you think it's near mint you explain to me why, why it's near mint if i think it's heavy play i explain to you why it's heavy play right um okay look at the nick look at the scratch look at this um, and we can look at guides, we can look at PSA guides, we can look at um, Tron Toad, not Tron Toad anymore, but other guides online, any guide that you want. And we can look at, we can put the card image, we can say what's wrong with it, whether you agree or disagree, and then we can go online and find the right condition. So Card Kingdom right now is kind of in a chaotic mode because they're moving. So obviously their inventory and their inventory demands as they move will be very complicated. And it's not going to be as, um, yeah, it's not going, you're not going to get the processing time you did. A, there's less employees doing the same amount of work. And B, right, um, there are, you know, I mean, again, maybe the best employees have left. So you're kind of dealing with training new employees, which may not really know the buy list as well. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, right? But again, you can understand they're moving. They're moving a physical location. That's a big reason. And two, their employees have shifted. So, of course, their buy list will be delayed, and it might not be as efficient. And I'm pretty sure they, they're going to say, hey, we need you to decide on the era for the card shop in this kind of dire need of time. I mean, Card Kingdom is a huge company, guys. If they are struggling financially... Um, you know that your local game store is also struggling financially uh, because, again, Card Kingdom has these relationships that your local game store may not have with Wizards of the Coast. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.